Hello everybody, I'm David Serpa and I'm here with my business partner, Robert Morrow. Um, the guy that I started it all with? Oh. The guy that we started it all with? Um, Bobby Lee, Robert Morrow. What's up, man? You made over six figures. I did. The last two years. I did. You're doing pretty damn good, brother. I did all right. Yeah. So did all right. what changed, man? How did you go from being, um, from struggling in that first year in real estate on, well, another team, I'll let you talk about that, yeah. to being somebody who's made six figures back to back. And the, the first year that anyone made six figures was you. Yeah. How does that happen? Well, I mean, you know, it's, it's good tools. Yeah. And, you know, we collaborated on a lot of stuff when we were starting off. That's right. And there was things where I told you, like, look, David, this isn't working for me. Mm -hmm. Let's figure out a way around it. But, you know, like the biggest thing was a lot of it has to do with, like, my hesitation on being on a team. Because sure. you approached me right after I was on a pretty predatory team. Yes. Uh, and then you're like, hey, Rob, you want to join a team? And I'm you're like, oh, oh hold hey, up. <laughs> I just met you. Like, I'm not trying to date or anything yeah. serious like that. But um, I remember you telling me, I was just like, before we even talk about teams or doing any of that, like, what are you doing? What can I do to start getting uh, business? Because it was all about internet leads yeah. on my previous team. Sure. And uh, I just didn't. I didn't jive well with internet leads and they weren't closing fast enough for a guy who got out of the Marine Corps and had college debt already. Yes. They weren't, they, I mean, they weren't even converted. So you were looking for more buy now business. I was. And I was. where did you find that buy now business, brother? Where are you still finding that buy now business? Open houses, man. Yes. All those agents out there not doing open houses. I, you know, go ahead and not do them. I'll just take all your business. Agents love to say open houses don't work. Yeah. Open houses Lazy work. Ones. When agents work, That's right. less than 1% of agents have ever sold an open house at the open house. I have nine agents on this team that have sold an open house at the open house. I think you've done it at Three least in twice. A year. Three times? Three, three in times a in a year. He sold the open house at the open house three times in a year. And then double ended a couple of those. Guys, there's no excuse. Open houses work when agents work. Yeah, absolutely. So we had talked about that. We kind of discussed how to do open houses. And it was so funny because my last team, I had over 116 internet leads mm -hmm. that I was following up with pretty religiously. Yeah. But I wasn't getting any buy now business. And I was getting a couple people that was just like constantly taking them out. They were real wishy-washy on the whole topic yep. and everything. And um, the only the only lead that I ended up closing on the last team was actually one that I got at an open house. Yeah. And the agent who was my team lead had, she didn't even believe in open houses. She wasn't even about that. When you're as likable, as handsome, as charming, and you've got an epic beard like this guy does, right? all you really have to do is show up at an open house and you want to buy a house from this guy. That's right. No, that's not true though. What really, no, the, the, the perfection is a, the, where you get it is in the follow up. Absolutely. Well, and then you also get it in the value, yeah. right? When you know about where yes. you're selling real estate yeah. and you see somebody come into your open house and you're like, hey, where are you from? And they're like, oh, well, we're coming up from San Diego. And Okay, well, what do you know about the area? Well, not just, not much. We just really like the prices of the homes and we heard the schools were okay. Yeah. So, okay, well, you know, what's your kid into? Sports? Oh, did, did you know that these schools right here have some of the best programs in the valley? Yeah. And you just, it's providing value. And I feel like when I can get in front of somebody and I can see their facial expressions and I can read their body language, I get a better understanding of what they're looking for and mm -hmm. then I just provide it. Yes. And I don't provide it behind any wall. Like you don't need to sign in when you come into my open house. Mm -hmm. I know that's, people get weirded out about that. We actually, um, we don't do that at all. You don't have to sign in at, at any of no. our open houses. No. So you, you don't just have to talk to me. Yeah. Just hang out for a little while. I'm a talker. I like hang to out. Talk. Spend a little bit of quality time with us. Yeah. Fill up our, uh, our love tank. Both of our love languages, I think, are quality time. Sure. <laughs> I don't know. My love, my love language is a nice glass of whiskey every now and again. But. So Rob and I started the team together. We started it almost four years ago now. We now have um, six, eight, or no, we started almost three years ago now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Almost three years ago now. <laughs> uh, I was thinking about when I started it's in like real estate. <laughs> and one, we had six agents on this team. Six agents all make over six figures in a year. 100% of the agents on this team made over uh, six figures. And a huge part of that is this guy is our director of marketing um, and he has figured it out. He runs uh, all that side of the house because I'm not a tech guy. 
But thank God. No, you're not. I found a life partner. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We're yin and yang, right? That is a tech guy. Yeah, and it, I mean, it goes to kind of what we were talking about a long time ago when, when we started the team and I sat down with you and we were talking and we started jiving and I was like, I think I get it. I understand now. You are a certain way and David is and anybody who's ever met David knows he's a certain way. Mm -hmm. And I am that way on the opposite side. So he really likes the networking. He's a, he can grind like nobody's business and he's, he's really great talking. And, and I feel like I am too, Thanks, but the man. things where the parts where I excel is I'm a very much head in the clouds kind of guy. Yeah. And I have great ideas and I also am super good with tech and systems mm -hmm. because that was my Marine Corps background. Yeah. Logistics. And, uh, you were, you were a grunt. Yep. So I made sure that your plan worked. And then you executed. I, I was an infantry guy. Yes, so that's right. Rob made sure that I could read all of the pamphlets and everything. Mm. That were about real These estate. really big letters, <laughs> bold font. So and then uh, so Rob and I were, were we were both in the Marine Corps. Um, so we're both veterans, and uh, that, I think it's one of the things that ultimately ended up Jessica. Yeah, Rob's wife. wife was working in escrow at the time. Introduced the two of us, and really the rest is history. Yeah. But um, but it's been. It has been a it has been the journey of a lifetime building this team with Rob. Um, Rob, what are you most proud of on a professional level? On a professional level, yeah. Um, you know that's it's a really hard question to answer. I don't know if I'm most proud of anything um, on a professional level, yeah. but I say one of the one of the the best moments that I've had since I've been in real estate is just being able to buy stuff. For my kids when they want yeah. it like um, when you're in the marine corps and everybody thinks it's a really glamorous life and you're well taken care of um you know you live on a very skimpy budget and sometimes sure. the kids get mikey's and not nikes but sure um, or they get shacks yeah they get the shacks <laughs> i had a yeah. pair of shacks i did too but no, now your kids aren't wearing shacks, shacks were expensive i had the walmart ones I had, so they had a Payless shoe source. Oh, they okay. had 32 on the side. I think it was like 12 bucks. All right. I think I still wear my shoe. My, no. <laughs> <Your shacks. laughs> but uh, no, I mean, just going, it's the craziest thing in the world. Real estate can be one of the most rewarding career fields to be in. Um, and you, you really start to appreciate things and, and, and develop more gratitude for those things. Yes. Um, when, for little things like, oh, my kid wants, you know, brand new school clothes and I can buy them and still pay the bills when yeah. I'm done. And so that, that's kind of one of my prouder moments. It's nice to know, like watch my family be taken care of yeah. and know that I had something to do with that. Neither one of us are really you know, materialistic guys. I came from we, a really poor family. He came from a really poor family. Um, I came from a very poor family. So for the two of us, we constantly, we see these people with dream boards and with yeah. Ferraris on them and yeah. everything like I'm that. Like, I'll take a, I'll just take a newer Chevy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a Ford Focus. Yeah, it, it, know, if it drives, it it, it's a box on wheels, but like yeah. um, it provides you a lifestyle yeah. for your family that you get to live. And it's ultimately, it's about more than real estate, and which right. is the name of the podcast. It's about more than real estate. It's about more than real which estate. I will be interviewing Rob. My partner on, we'll talk about the forming of the team. Yeah. We'll we will talk about uh, times that Rob and I haven't necessarily seen eye to eye and how that's worked out. And uh, you know, this guy has kept me on path. There have been times that I've thought about throwing in the towel, but uh, Bobby Lee kept it going. Robert Morrow. Yeah. So, uh, so Rob, um, I know that you said that you don't necessarily have something that you're really proud of on a professional level and it really ended up kind of being more of a personal thing. But yeah. do you have anything else that you're really proud of on a, on a personal level that you've been able to, to do because of this lifestyle that you've now accomplished through real estate? Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I, it all kind of goes back to the same thing. Family I, family. I'm, uh, my family is, it's the reason why I got out of the Marine Corps after 12 years. Um, I'm originally from South Carolina. I stayed here in California cause my entire family is born and raised here in California. So, um, it was all about family for me and, it, and it's always been about family. Yeah. And you know, that's the one thing it's, it's, I don't bend on that at all. So if it comes down to it and it's, you know, my family or real estate, it's always my family, but, um, real estate has provided a really, uh, comfortable lifestyle yeah. for my family. Sure. And, uh, as long as that is still the case, I'm just going to keep grinding it out. It's been an interesting theme listening to everybody talk you know, today, and I've, I've been doing these six figure agent uh, interviews today and everybody's been talking about family. Yeah. 
And I actually didn't even realize that you weren't the only person that got burned by a past team. You know, uh, you know, we, we've got a couple of other people on this team that yeah. didn't necessarily have a great experience either. What makes the Holmes team different? What did you want to make sure when you were setting out building this beast? Yeah. What, what did you What did you want to be different? So and I, so, the Holmes team. All right, since we started has the, the, the number one thing with all agents is that we collaborate with each other, mm -hmm. we help each other, we lift each other up, and we're happy to see each other succeed. I want everybody on the team to outperform me. I wanna see that because if they're outperforming me, by nature, I'm going to become better and my team is gonna become better and our name is gonna become better. So um, we want that and, and that, that's like a tribal collaboration thing that we put sure. together. We wanna see everybody succeed. We, it's, it's like a family environment. We don't begrudge anyone their success. No. And we're not hiding our chips either. Yeah. So there's a lot of real estate uh, teams, there's brokers, there's all kinds of people out there who, you know, they're just holding these cards in front of your face and they're like, well, you know, I'll let you peek at this one, but not the rest. If you're hoarding information, like a, like a squirrel is hoarding nuts scarcity for winter. Scarcity mindset. That is a scarcity mindset, and that is not necessarily uh, a situation where it's really conducive to growth in a, team, in a team atmosphere. I constantly have people ask me and ask Rob, if you guys give all this stuff with your team, how are you going to get people to stick around? The right people will stay. Can the right people value. will stay. The right people stick around. It's about value. Together, everyone achieves more, right? That's right. So, Rob, you were in the Marine Corps for 12 years. 12 years. Eight years away from retirement, and you walked away and started a career in real estate. That's right. What the hell? What were you thinking? That's my family. You know, it, it boils down to that. We, we had moved almost every two years since my kids started school, and it was every two years, and we'd go to a new school, and they'd be like, your kids are behind because they're not used to our curriculum or mm -hmm. something like that. And I'm like, I'm done. And yeah. at the point in time when I got out, it was, it was looking like we were going to move again. And I'm like, look, my family means more to me than this retirement check and everything mm -hmm. else. Like, yes, I, I want to be here. I, I still love being a Marine. I've always loved being a Marine. Love being it's a always going to be part of who I, mm -hmm. who I am, but my family is my everything. And so, so just when my kids looked up at me, I'm like, are we going to be moving again? Because they were going into their third year in a school. And I was like, oh, we're done. This yeah. is it. And I'll tell you what, brother, friggin, you know, and I always say this and everybody gives me a hard time for saying this, but I, I did, when you're talking, I got goosebumps again. It's goosebumps. like leaving the Marine Corps, which really is like this blanket of security for a lot of people. It's hard for a lot of people to get out. It's a scary thing to think about doing. And look, I'm not advocating for you to do it, but I'm telling you that Rob did it. He got out of the Marine Corps, he got out of the safety net, he provided a better life for his family. And now he's in a situation where, you know, his wife is doing great things now. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? His kids are happy. He's happy. His, he's going on vacations to Shasta. Yeah. We're growing the team. So if you want to join this, if you want to join the homes team, if you want to have a piece of what's going on here, you want to have a daily conference call with Rob, and you want to have a 30 minute coaching session with Rob every month, in addition to all the support and everything else that you're already getting with this team, we're here to provide value for here. We're here to provide value for us and to provide value for you. Everything in life, if it is a truly good and healthy relationship, is reciprocal. I'm Absolutely. not going to take from you and not give anything in return. Absolutely. That's something we do here. Yeah, that's, I mean, anybody who's doing that to you in your life, I would probably sit back and just question a little bit why that is a thing that you're willing to put up with. Because at the end of the day, you have to make sure that you're taken care of and your own is taken care of and your own is on this team. Your own is the team as well. Yeah. So like my priorities are, are my family and then my team and then everybody else. else. Yeah. Like, yeah. So um, what are we going to talk about more? Uh, so you, he's going to be on the podcast. It's about more than real estate with David Serpa and Rob. We only have so much time. We've already been talking here for about 15 minutes. Yeah. We're, gonna, we're probably going to talk for hours. We Realistically, we, I wouldn't even be surprised if we end up talking for hours. And this guy's head is full of information. He has an incredibly interesting life. What are we touching on? What are we getting into? It's about more than real estate. What is more with Rob? What, what, what are we going to be touching on? Man, we're going to talk about some real deep stuff. Let's get I on mean, the crazy it's, stuff. It's going to be it's going to be all about spirituality. Mm -hmm. It's going to be about um, 
theory and concepts about you know what it takes to work on yourself uh your mental health and your physical health mm -hmm. and some of that might involve um questionable questionable uh and we'll, we'll leave it at that <laughs> for, for youtube but with it's about more than real estate it is a show that at times does get explicit we have our uh, our guest their uh, opinions are theirs they're entitled to them that's right so today We've interviewed Jamie as a six-figure agent, and Rob has been. It's Rob and I have been on this journey together from the beginning. I'm a six-figure agent. Rob's a six-figure agent. Jamie's a six-figure agent. Davida is. Damian Simon is. Um, there's a reason why there's so many. Yeah, and with the sixth one, um, she did leave. She started or she left. She started her own team. That's her voyage. We wish her uh, fair seas where she's going. Six out of six of us made over $100,000 in a year. That's a team. That's a team. It's not about the guy at the top no. making $6 million and everybody else struggling to eat. We love people here. We love real estate here. Absolutely. It's yeah. fun. It's exciting. We do right by our clients. We do right by our fellow agents. It's all ethical, so you can go to bed at night, you know, feeling comfortable about what you did for the day. You it's, know what I'm saying? it's ethical without getting staunchy. We still put yeah. our hair down. We have a good time. That's right. So, um, if this is an environment that you'd love to be a part of, we'd love to have you here. If not, keep on trucking. Keep doing what you're doing. I appreciate you watching anyway. And uh, life is good. Yeah, maybe we'll do a deal someday. We look, we look forward to seeing you guys around in the, the real estate. Uh, hemisphere and uh, and you guys uh, you guys take care of yourselves and um, keep keep getting paid keep making money life is good keep on keeping on keep on keeping on life's a garden dig it make it work for you <laughs>